Hello, I'm the Nostalgia Critic. I remember it, so you don't have to. Well, well, it took me two weeks, but I'm back. And now I'm starting to think I should have made it another two weeks until I came back. Well, I'm back and I'm reviewing Batman and Robin. I do not have a copy of the film because if I did, let's just say, a film would never be here. But anyways, on to the actual review. You see, Batman and Robin is the epitome of dog shit. I mean, my god, it's, it's ass. It's just, it's so fucking horrible that I'm not even, that I literally am showing you just still of the movie. Well, hey, let's so let's try to to review this movie instead of turning it into a fucking rant. Okay, so in the movie we have Arnold Schwarzenegger as Mr. Freeze, but before we do that, we have Batman and Robin suiting up for the opening fight scene. And yes, those costumes come complete with bat nipples and bat asses. <sighs> fuck. 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 Anyways. This movie is basically an inescapable rape of superheroes because it takes Batman, who was basically from the Tim Burton universe, grabs that Batman, rapes him, and of course, gave us this piece of shit. And all I can say to Joe Schumacher is thank you for apologizing, and I am sorry that you had to die. I'm sorry that you had to die, and I'm also sorry that you had to make this piece of crap. So, thank you for apologizing, Schumacher. Rest in peace. And, and if you're up in heaven, I want you to understand this. Fuck this movie! Anyways, let's try to get back to the plot. Of course, Robin says to Batman, I want a car. Chicks dig the car. And Batman says, this is why Superman works alone. And I'm like, wait a minute. You mean Superman exists in the Joel Schumacher universe so when Freeze is freezing the entire got them. Where is he? Oh wait, I know exactly where he is. He's busy. Anyway, this God again, this movie is by far not the worst movie I've ever seen. We'll get to that one day. One day we'll get to what is by far the worst movie I've ever seen in my life. But after this review, we need to review something positive. So, in short, fuck the movie, and I am so glad that this movie, because there's only one good fucking thing about this movie, and that is it gave us the Christopher Nolan Batman films. So, that's the one positive I can give this movie. Nothing else good can come from it. So, Fuck the movie. And I'll see you with my next review, which is actually going to be a very positive review. Because I need something positive. Hold on. I'm the nostalgia critic. I remember it so you don't have to.